Hi everyone! While use of the eniotonic scale has occasionally occurred in the works of other composers, it is probably Olivier Messiaen who most thoroughly incorporated it into his music, adopting it as his third mode of limited transposition. The eniotonic scale is a nine note scale divided into three semitone groups, each separated by a tone, which may be analysed melodically as three interlocking augmented triads. The scale's intervallic configuration produces the limited transposition of Messiaen's label, and the scale can only be transposed by semitone three times before a fourth transposition duplicates the original scale beginning on another of its notes. There are therefore only four eniotonic scales. While in each eniotonic scale a number of notes may be diatonic to several keys, this scale beginning on C for example includes five notes from C major and D major, and seven notes from the combined ascending and descending A melodic minor scale. The remaining notes not diatonic to these keys must be avoided or incorporated sensitively into the tonal setting. In some musical styles, however, the scale's use may be less problematic. Over dominant harmony in jazz, for example, all notes of the eniotonic scale beginning on the same note as the dominant produce the following extensions. And the same scale used over an A minor major 7th chord produces, as mentioned, a combination of notes from the ascending and descending A melodic minor scale, with the C sharp and B flat needing to be avoided or incorporated into the texture as relevant non-harmony notes. Harmonically, eniotonic scales harmonised diatonically produce the following augmented triads, dominant 7th sharp 5 chords, Italian, French and German augmented 6 chords, minor and major triads, minor 7th and major 7th chords, along with various altered and incomplete extended chords. These chord types may all be used to modulate between eniotonic and diatonic sound worlds, as well as between the four eniotonic scales. While in some composers' works the eniotonic scale may be implied, other composers appear to literally use some or all of the four eniotonic scales, sometimes using them simultaneously to create a chromatic texture. Bartok, for example, beginning in bar 297 of the third movement of a second violin concerto, initially uses together the first, second and third eniotonic scales, then the first, third and fourth scales, before returning to a first, second, third combination. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.